So today for you Roku users, we're going to show you every setting you need to turn off, ones you need to delete, even getting rid of adverts on your Roku device. This is the 2024 update, everything you need to do on your device to stop you being tracked, stop them selling your data, stop them giving your data to other people, other applications, and get your device running the best it can. Brilliant. If that's something you want to do, or if you're a Roku user, please hit that subscribe button. We cover everything streaming, and we will be doing Roku weekly videos again going forward as it's 2024 and things have changed. Plus, regular watchers do watch through till the end. Okay, let's really start in with the big one. First thing we're going to do is get rid of this advert. You see the one above me, right above my head, where it's advertising the Roku original? That is a big ad banner, and we're going to get rid of that first. Before we do all the privacy settings and everything, let's get rid of it. So what you're going to do, you're going to get your remote and you're going to do these buttons. You're going to push the home button five times. Then you're going to push up, right, down, left, up. And we're going to be in a secret menu. OK, this secret menu. So that was home button five times. Up, right, down, left, up. You can watch that as many times as you want. You can follow along as I do it. Once in here, we're going to scroll down to Cycle Scrollable Ads, and you're going to click on this one until it's always disabled. OK. Then you're going to go down to Cycle Home Screen Ad Banner Server, and you're going to click this one until it changes to Demo Free. Demo Free, OK. OK, from here, the next thing we do, we just push our home button to get out of this. OK, so that should block your adverts and the ones underneath would also disappear. You may need to restart three or four times, maybe more than that. And for some, it doesn't work straight away. You can go back in again. So the same process, five times home button, up, right, down, left, up. And then you can change this cycle image service at the top and then play and try maybe demo one, two or three on the cycle home screen ad banner. If it doesn't work, same process, push your home and then restart your device again. This way, it should remove it for you, but obviously it's slightly different for everybody depending on country. Okay, next up, we're gonna to go to our settings and get all this privacy stuff out the way. So go down to your settings, and in here, we're not gonna start at the top, we're gonna to start on the important one, which is privacy. So go up to privacy, go on to advertising, and here, personally, personalized ads I turn off. Personalized ads means they take your information and they will use your information to advertise to you personally. So you want to turn that off because they also share that with the other app companies on your device. So this gives them the possibility to share it to those channels and so those apps so they can advertise you as well. So that means they are keeping your information. So I'd untick that one is a really important one to do. Voice. I also like to take off speech recognition because for speech recognition to work, they have to store your speech. OK. Channel microphone access again, that's prompt, allow or never allow. Again, that's up to you. I don't really like it. I don't use voice stuff, but that's a personal preference. But if you take off the voice recognition, they won't be recording it. OK. You can view the privacy policy if you want to. And we go back another one. That is your main bit done in your privacy. OK. Right, now we can get onto the really good stuff. So we're going to look in theme. In here, an important one you can turn off is your screen savers. Screen savers will come on. Sometimes, like a lot of devices now, they've started to add adverts in the screen savers. So when the screen savers come on, they put an advert on there as well. Screen savers also use resources up when you're not even using your device. So personally, I click on um, screen saver. Once you're on here, you go down to screen saver start time and you can disable that screen saver. So you don't need to have it running. OK, then it won't come on at all for you. And that's all under theme. That's the only things you can do in there. You could obviously you could change your wallpapers. Um, I think it's seasonal wallpapers, if you want them, it doesn't really matter. Sponsored wallpapers you want to turn off. Um, from time to time, wallpapers can change to celebrate TV shows, films, events and brands. So that's adverts again. So you can turn those ones off. OK, we go back one. Display type. Here you can have it on automatic. Or you can directly change the TV you are using. So mine's a 1080p TV, so I could click straight onto 1080p monitor. That way it won't change and add in between different things. Right. Accessibility. 
This is just if you need extra help. So you can put subtitles modes on, things like that. If you're a bit hard of seeing, if you need some more volume boost, those sort of ones, nothing for your security in there, but there might be some good ones to help you. Audio, again, these are just your preferred settings. Guest mode, if you have people joining. Home screen, home screen is quite good. Um, you can have your shortcuts menu, so you can add different ones on, your save list, what to watch. You know, you can click them, you can add more, show and hide on these ones. You may have more options than me, depending on what you've added already. Payment method, I personally don't like to have a payment method on there, but that's up to you. Apple AirPlay, I don't use. Legal notices, account terms and privacy and conditions. You can actually read about everything in these. It's quite interesting if you do read them, but you may never turn your device on again. Um, we can then go in system. In system, here you have the perfect point to update your device. So you can go to software update to make sure your device is fully up to date. It will check for new updates. Um, you've also got your advanced system settings in here. So you can do a factory reset if you ever need to. Network connection reset. Controlled by mobile apps if you want to. That gives network access. And you've got advanced display settings where you can auto adjust display, refresh rates, things like that. But obviously only play with them if you know what you are doing. We will be doing more videos over the next few weeks on these regarding keeping your device up to date and making it work better. But again, this is all down to, we will do more preferences and more things as we go through. But the main one there was trying to get those ads turned off and we're gonna do some more stuff about changing DNSs on ads so it should block ads on applications as well and you can change the different geolocations coming up. So do hit that follow button. And before we leave a quick word from one of our partners, if you are interested in a VPN, VPN can be used on many, many streaming devices can be used on many devices for your security, your privacy, whether it's your mobile phone, your PC, Fire Stick, Android TV. These are great for keeping yourself safe online. For just $2.99 a month, we are partnered with them. We mention them at the end of our videos, mainly because if you're not interested and you're not after a VPN, you've still watched all the good content, the great video, you've watched all of that, plus now you get to see about our offer if you need one. Um, it's great for your protection, web servers, changing your settings, your location, all that sort of stuff, all for $2.99 to put on unlimited devices. That's linked directly underneath for you as well. Obviously, we have tons of videos on the channel if you want to check out. A lot are on Fire Sticks, but a lot are on streaming apps and other things as well. So do check all those out for you. They're all linked underneath. So do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.